Yeah, it's pretty. I like his collar too. What's his name? Alfred. Alfred. What's his name? Enzo. Enzo. Yes. Hello. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Hi, Enzo. Yeah. How much does he weigh now? I don't even know, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey. 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 I like this guy. Yeah. <laughs> four months, my goodness. Oh man, you're smart for four months. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's pretty smart. <laughs> what do you guys feed him? Uh, he's so healthy too. Okay, so it's changed over the years. Um, I think when we started, first year we feed him a long time ago. Well, now it's two cups a day. Yeah. Um, hard food? And mix, like half, half kibble. But half we use two kibble. different types of kibble for half of it. We do okay. origin, or one quarter cup of origin. And because we had to do trial and error to make sure his poop is solid. Exactly. So one, a quarter cup of origin, and then a quarter cup of natural balance limited ingredient diet. And the other half is a mix of like a protein, like a bison or turkey or something. And then blueberries, one strawberry, sometimes a little boiled vegetables. But he's a puppy, so like, he's, he's, start easy on it. Like just yeah. kibble first. He's in the raw food diet now. Oh, oh good, good, good. Yeah, like everything raw. Good, like good, barf good. diet. Okay, that's what he's on, yeah. Nice, nice. I hear really good things about Yeah, him. it's a lot of work, but I, I yeah. like it. So far, he loves it. Yeah, yeah, so he yeah. Gets, he gets about a quarter of his diet, sweet potato. So we kind of mix it with the kibble and then he runs for it. There you so go. the problem was he wasn't also as healthy and he has a narrow trachea. So we're trying to get him more used to it. I think about 73 degrees yeah. is a very You're difficult soft. time. Yeah, you just gotta Shoot. find the, you know. So yeah, we yeah. go up and down the hallway outside and take the kibble and he runs our way. He's very really happy about that and so he's in a better shape. Because they have a lot of allergies, you know what I mean? You yeah. just gotta find what, what's best for them. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the first year it's like you gotta figure out the dog. Yeah, exactly. The diet, you have the allergies, you have to figure out other health issues that don't have to come up until later. Right. Yeah. Does he have insurance? Yeah, I, eventually I got insurance. Yeah. Um, Mine still don't. Somebody keeps okay. telling me. Yeah, people keep telling me I better have one yeah. for him, especially. Yeah. Um, I mean, I waited till like right before he turned six because it depends on what the uh, insurance carrier is. Uh huh. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. You know, like uh so the one that I picked out, uh I picked out healthy paw. But then if I were to do it again I would have picked um the, the one with um it's called spot or something. Oh Alfred. Was, oh Alfred. <laughs> <laughs> but it's because so like um, it covers um hip dysplasia. Okay. But if he's before six. Okay. Yeah, so I did I waited one week before six. Right, and there then I go. got it. Yeah. <laughs> no, it should still be covered. Yeah, I don't know if I should get one now or yeah. he still doesn't have like shots or nothing like that. Oh, right. I, I need I need it, right? Maybe like the first year, right? And they just cancel it then or just keep it. I don't I know, it's my first shot. time having Oh, this these are expensive. These are I know. super expensive. Um so you, I did my estimate. Hundred cheese, easy. Oh like, yeah, his yeah. pet bills are expensive every month. Yeah. How much? Uh, hundred thousand. I, I asked before, before I got my English bill back. I asked him. That's like I. Maybe if he got cent. everything wrong with him and I had to pay out of pocket, yeah. I would estimate a hundred cheese, but that's without insurance. Oh wow. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. He just, he just, so like I better the, get one now. The earlier. Yeah. yeah. Better, okay. So right? he's gonna, they're gonna have a lot of ear infections. Yeah. And so if he has an ear infection. Before he gets insurance, all subsequent ear infections are not going to be covered. So, there's that. Um, okay. So, so they're, they're going to cover everything that hasn't occurred yet. Okay, time. yeah, I, I heard that. Like, I, I'm supposed to get one this month, but like something happened where I had to cancel. It's okay. You know, because. It's still early. It's yeah, still yeah, early. it's still early, but. I don't, yeah, like I keep getting all these like suggestions and like comments about English Bulldog. Like I really want to learn too. I've only had him for for three weeks. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we're learning. We're, we're learning. We, 
We're getting to know each other right now. Yeah. They're um they're very heat sensitive. Yes. So be careful. Yes. <laughs> like really be careful. Uh noise. Like you don't want you don't want them outside during fireworks that will spook them. Yeah. Uh spook them like Oh really? Yeah. Especially like, at this age. It doesn't matter what age. Um yeah, oh, okay. The thing is about fireworks. So I was at a, um, I was, before I got a dog, I would go to the uh, dog store and I pet dogs every day, uh -huh. right? And the lady selling said, oh yeah, there's a guy That's who, so who bought an English bulldog from us and then he took him out on the 4th of July and didn't like keep him in uh -huh. and there were fireworks going off and then he got so scared he died. Damn. Really? Yeah. yeah. So keep them inside. Oh wow. Yeah. So I that's why that. like that's why we were walking in New York or Boston and they were doing fireworks. I jumped into the car and covered his ears oh. because they can get so spooked. <laughs> yeah, I covered his ears. And so come here. And then we left. Okay, say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. The wrinkles are the big one.